Hey y'all, Jake Ohms here. Welcome to This Is Nashville. So today we're gonna to be talking about some of the best patio bars and restaurants here in Nashville, Tennessee. The weather is just starting to turn. So here in Nashville, the spring starts a little bit sooner than some other markets. So we're already starting to experience some 60 and 70 degree weather. There's nothing better than being on a, on a patio on a nice day. So we're gonna be breaking down some of the best patio bars by neighborhood here in Nashville. And keep in mind, these are my favorites. So if you have any favorites, please feel free to comment them below for us to check out. The first neighborhood that we're going to be exploring is East Nashville. East Nashville is an area of Nashville just to the east of downtown, and it's one of the biggest sub-neighborhoods that we have here in Nashville. So the first patio that I absolutely love is the one at Pharmacy Burgers. So we actually did a video at Pharmacy Burger and they're my favorite burgers in the entire city. But one aspect that we didn't really get a chance to cover in that last video since it was winter time was their amazing beer garden. They have an awesome patio out there with tons of seating and it's elevated too. So it's just one of the best patios that I've found for enjoying some nice delicious beers and, and having a fantastic burger. Another one of the best patios in East Nashville is Pearl Diver. So Pearl Diver is an amazing tropical lounge. So they actually have two patios, one in the front, and, and that one isn't really anything to write home about. It's just, you know, some seats, but once you get to the back patio, it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, there are two different levels to it. So you have the outer ring, then you have the lower ring with some seating. So it's one of the most aesthetically pleasing patios in, here in Nashville, Tennessee. Rosemary and Beauty Queens is another amazing patio in East Nashville. So Rosemary and Beauty Queens is super cool because it was once a house that was converted into a bar. So when you walk into the house, it's pretty much like a living room that you're walking into and that's where you can get your drinks. But if you walk to what was once the backyard, which is now the patio for the establishment, there's a ton of seating. There are two different levels, two other bars as well. There's areas to dance, areas to hang out. It's a super cool patio in East Nashville. Urban Cowboy is another patio that is super cool in East Nashville. It's definitely on the list to hit. East Nashville Beer Works is another patio that I personally love. One reason why I love that patio is because not only is there a patio, but there's also a playground for kids as well. So it's a perfect opportunity to go out, enjoy a few drinks, bring the kids out, let them have a good time. It's an awesome combination of the two of them. They also have some really good food as well. So the next neighborhood that we'll be covering with some cool patio bars and restaurants is Germantown. So Germantown is directly north of downtown on the west side of the Cumberland River. Now the first patio bar that I personally love is Mother's Ruin. Mother's Ruin is a super cool bar. It's like a mix between a New York cocktail bar and a dive bar. So they have really good cocktails and they have fantastic food as well. My favorite thing on the menu is their wings, their honey chalula wings, and they're absolutely phenomenal. But they have a patio as well, so it's perfect for the springtime, summertime to go with some friends, grab a few drinks, and enjoy yourself. Von Elrod's is also a super cool patio in Germantown. It is right by where the Nashville Sounds play, and Von Elrod's, it's a big beer garden. So they have a ton of different beers and a ton of seating. The outdoor area is actually bigger than the indoor area and they have an outdoor bar which you can buy uh, limited food items like pretzels they have long uh, picnic tables for you to sit at it's dog friendly as well so feel free to bring your pooches monday night brewing is a brewery that's in germantown right off of the river and it is a very old sort of antique patio that they have there. It almost looks like, like a rundown coliseum. It's a perfect place to enjoy a few brews. It's called Monday Night Brewing, but you can go any night of the week and enjoy their patio. And also in Germantown is Sunny's. It's a super cool patio bar there where it's a mix between a sports bar, but they also have live music, but they also have games and they have almost these cabana-like tables on the outside where you can enjoy yourself. It's also dog friendly as well. So, and they have really good tater tots. So feel free to go check it out. It's, it's one of the best. Another neighborhood of Nashville that has really cool patio bars and restaurants is 12 South. 12 South is one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Nashville due to its extreme walkability. It is the perfect place to go to on a Saturday or Sunday during the day to walk around, take some pictures in front of murals, and get some fantastic food. 
The first patio that's noteworthy is Frothy Monkey. So there are multiple Frothy Monkeys throughout Nashville. One of the most popular ones is in 12 South and they have a really cool patio right on 12 South, right on the street. So there's a ton of people walking around, dogs walking around, families walking around. And it's a perfect place to not only enjoy some really great coffees, but also some really good food. The burger is phenomenal and some cocktails as well. There are two bar tacos in Nashville. One is in East Nashville, but the other is in 12 South, right on the main strip. So that's one of the most popular patios. Their margaritas are some of the best in Nashville. People come to Nashville and specifically go to Bar Taco because of their outdoor patio and their fantastic margaritas. So it's definitely worth checking out. Embers is a bar in 12 South, so it is a ski lodge. I know it sounds really interesting for a place in Nashville, but the inside of the venue is themed out all with ski lodge sort of themes, and they have an outdoor patio as well. Now the outdoor patio is actually two levels. They have one that's in the parking lot, which is a little bit more straightforward. There's some picnic tables up there, but they actually built an upper patio above Embers where you can go and you can see most of 12 South as well. So you have a couple of different options when you go into Embers. And then lastly, you have Bottle Cap, which is a neighborhood lounge on 12 South. They have indoor seating as well. They have a patio in addition to that. And this is a little bit more of a neighborhood lounge, but it's also a sports bar. They have multiple TVs, great place for brunch, great place to go catch a game. So another area of Nashville, unsurprisingly, that has really cool patios is downtown. So when I say downtown, I don't mean just Broadway. I mean the greater area of downtown. Now on Broadway, there are a ton of rooftop bars, which we'll most likely be covering in a different video, but today we'll be talking about the patios. One of the really cool patios in downtown Nashville is 6th and Peabody. So there's a combination between Old Smoky Distillery and Yeehaw Brewing. So they came together and they have one area which has an indoor area with TVs, but then they also have a massive outdoor area with different bar games, rental areas, they have cornhole as well. Pins Mechanical is in the downtown area and it is one of the super cool, unique bars in Nashville. So it's a gaming bar. They have mini bowling, they have different arcade games throughout the entire venue, and they have an outdoor patio as well. It has its own designated bar and they have fire pits. So it's the perfect place to hang out on a weekend evening, especially in the summertime, bringing some friends out, play some games, and head out to the patio to enjoy some drinks. So when we speak about the downtown area, I'm also including the Gulch. So in the Gulch, there's a hotel called the Thompson by Hyatt, and they have an outdoor bar there called L.A. Jackson. So if you've ever been to Nashville to visit, you've probably been to L.A. Jackson, or you know someone that went to L.A. Jackson. So it is in the hotel, a couple levels up, and there is a massive outdoor area in the hotel. It's not a little bit more of a a casual atmosphere. It's a little bit more of a dress-up atmosphere. It's, it's a little bit upper scale, but it's one of the coolest patio bars in Nashville, especially down in the Gulch, which is prime real estate. Lastly, in the downtown area is Pinewood Social. So Pinewood Social is a little bit more of a restaurant, uh, but the cool thing about Pinewood is that it is a restaurant, but they also have a bowling alley, a full bowling alley as well as a bar. They also have a working area. So this is the kind of place where you can go to in the middle of your work day, get a coffee, get lunch, and it's really comfortable to get some work done or even have a meeting. And their outdoor area only enhances that. So lastly, we're gonna talk about The Nations. Now The Nations doesn't have as many patio bars and restaurants as some other areas, but I think the ones that they do are some of the best in the entire city and some of my personal favorites. So one of them is Bringles Smoking Oasis, it is a mix between a barbecue restaurant, an outdoor sports bar, and a live music joint. So they have massive TVs with their outdoor bar, they have live music at times. It is one of the staples of the nations. If you go any Saturday, any Sunday, even any Friday or weekend or weekday night, when the weather is nice, you're going to see a ton of people in the neighborhood hanging out at Bringle Smoke and Oasis. Now, just over a mile away is the Fat Bonham Brewery. So this is a brewery here in Nashville, and they have an indoor area. They also have an events venue where they have weddings and, and those kind of things there. And then they have a massive patio as well. So it is a super cool place to hang out. 
So if you want to know more about the really cool attractions that we have here in Nashville, any of the bars and restaurants that we have, if you want to know more about Nashville, Tennessee, if you want to learn about what it takes to live here or learn more about any of the amazing real estate that we have throughout our different neighborhoods, please call, text, or 